Hi guys. Did you miss me? Alright, so all of y'all have a lot to talk about, and so a uh, little behind. Uh, if y'all just be patient, Stephanie will get with you and get you scheduled to talk to me. This is an excellent time to talk to somebody. If you're confused about what to do next, uh, if it's not me, find somebody else to talk to uh, that kind of has a bigger perspective because right now this is a very important crossroad time, okay? Whether, it doesn't even matter what you're talking about. Job, love, um, where you're going to live, uh, any subject that you are considering, this is a left or right issue, black or white issue. This is completely different equations here. The timelines have collapsed so much that you, if you make a decision on the smallest things, it's going to take you down a completely different path than another decision. So this is the time to splurge and spend some money on yourself and get some input from somewhere that knows what's going on right now. Now, also, Stephanie and I went on a road trip to get out of Texas because I needed to uh, get some vibrational information from the bigger part of the United States. And Texas is a very strong energy. Uh, everybody's is, but especially Texas right now. It's very strong energy, and I was having trouble reading really tiny details. And I wanted to go pick up a little sports car. Let's be truthful about it. Ha ha. So, got that done. I'll show it to you whenever we get it done. Uh, thank you, Stephen. Uh, yeah, it's a cute little car. And Stephanie and Steve and I are going to shut it up real bright and pretty, and I'll show it to you. It's a cute little thing. But I also got to do a lot of vibrational reading when I was out doing that. It took us a couple weeks. So, uh, yeah, that was going on. So, like I said... Be patient, guys. Stephanie will get to you. She will get you scheduled if you'll just be patient. Now, I want y'all to be really, really clear on this, that for anyone who has been following me, when I first started these videos, I was looking for a friend who had had a similar circumstance, a similar experience, a sim similar understanding of how things work. Now, because I was seeing so much information. I was receiving so much information. I had so much information. So I was looking for someone to share that with. I really did not find that. I did find a whole bunch of friends, and I did find a whole bunch of people with a lot of questions uh, that I had answers to. And so for that time, for years, okay, it's really hard to tell somebody or a group of people, or anyone that big changes, what humans would look at as catastrophic changes are on their way. I don't like to do that because people then start panicking and they focus on what could happen that was bad and they create for themselves way worse scenario. Now from a big human standpoint, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing or feeling could feel catastrophic, that could feel terrible. But if you pull back and look at it from the perspective that I do, this is what you have been asking for. This is what humans have been asking for, and this round of humans that are alive right now have been asking for and creating fervently. And what humans have been saying is, we want change. We want peace. We want to get along. So what these situations are around the world have created, if they've created a place where people, families, cities, states, and countries, and eventually, of course, the planet, will have to decide. And there's no more wishy-washiness about it. You will have to decide. Do you really want peace and love or not? It's that simple. To have peace and love, one thing has to be clearly understood for you to be on that timeline. And that is, we are all gods. There's God energy everywhere. All of this is a part of one. You are a part of 
the people you're screaming at. You are one with them. This is a game and you're playing a role. And the ultimate way that you've got to figure out is that you don't fight your way into peace and love. You don't. You accept your way into peace and love. And there's got to be an understanding here that because we are all a part of one, we don't like to repeat ourselves at all. So every single being, every single being, including the human experience, is very, very different from everyone and everything else. There is no repetition in this game. So even if you think that you are the same as someone else, you are not. If you think that you are a part of a group, you're not. That is just you looking at things with a filter. In truth, there are no groups. We are all individuals. We are very, very unique individuals. We respond and we create and we have lives that are very, very unique. And although we may have an instance or a similar thought, on the inside, as you take that instance or that moment in time and you incorporate it into your life, it is very, very different from the person that is standing next to you. And until people understand, now nature knows this, it doesn't fight it, it accepts it, and that's why the energy level in nature is so much higher. People fight it. And the reason why they fight it is because when you came to this game, you came from a place that we are all one. And we are individuals, but we are still one. We are still one. We can... We know everything about each other. We know every moment of every. We're in the now. There is no such thing as time. We're all connected. And you came to this game and you separated yourself with a belief system. A belief system that was a part of this game. The game was to play like you're not a god. What is that like? To go into physicality as deep and as dense as possible and completely forget that you're a god, what would that experience be like? That's what you're doing. Well, in the process of that, okay, I got a, Stephanie, my person, has got her finger up. What does that mean? I'm trying to direct you so you look oh, at I'm, the... I'm, look, I'm not looking at the camera. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean to... I'm looking directly into your eyes. <laughs> okay. So what you did was you came from a place where you were a part of everything. And you came down here and were born and taught to believe that you were separate from everything. And there is an inside deep longing to have home back, to have us back, to be a part of something again. So in that process, what happens is we start making groups and families and join clubs and separate into this area or that area or start finding, okay, well, I'm the same skin color as you, so we're the same. We can group together. And all that is doing is you're trying to fill that hole that is created when you came here and left all that is. But it doesn't work. That is not the way you get back to the all that is. It is not ever going to be that hole will never be filled. It will never be okay that way. You cannot, just like you can't fight yourself to peace, you can't separate yourself into wholeness. Instead, what you have to believe and you have to understand, you have to live, is that every single person, every single thing you see, smell, taste, hear, touch, is a part of you. And that is that all that is thing. And that is, that's not hard for most of you to do, I think, on a nature level. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to get into a lake and float and become one with you, with the lake or the ocean or uh, stand on a, a cliff and feel the wind and become one with the wind. It's not hard to cuddle your little animal and feel close with that animal. It's not hard to find a mate or a child that in moments you feel one with. The trick is 
you have to do it with every single human being on the planet. And the way that you do that is not by accepting groups. You can't accept, if you're a guy, all females. You can't accept all males if you're a female. You can't accept all people of a different color you, or your same color. You, you can't accept that. That will never work. What is the only way that works is to see each individual human being as a unique creature, a unique part, creation of an aspect of all that is. And you have to accept each and every one of them as an individual into the all that is that is you.